Well, hello there, everybody. My name's Fovixfer, and welcome back to Dishonored. Let's continue the story where we left off. You did it. Somehow you took down the High Overseer Campbell against the odds. I knew you were our man, Corvo. With Campbell gone, we've hurt the Lord Regent immeasurably. And with Martin back, we'll have the finest strategist alive. The Lord Regent must be shitting himself in Dunwall Tower. Yes, and Campbell's journal, let's not forget. Our hope is that in these encoded pages, the location and condition of Emily Caldwin can be discovered. Our entire movement will mean nothing if we can't place the rightful heir on the throne. We must act fast. No doubt the Lord Regent is holding Emily somewhere, waiting to reveal her, to step out as the hero and further cement his regency. If he doesn't bring the young lady forth soon, there will be infighting among the nobles as to who should succeed the Empress. Yes, time is against us. But now you should take a well-earned rest, Corvo. We will decipher the contents of the High Overseer's journal and share them with you later. Um, not just yet. There are things I'd like to do here first, Admiral. Let's see. I figured out how the grenades work now, so I can... I can pull those out. Apparently, I had to press in the mouse wheel. See, I, I didn't, uh, never occurred to me. Attention, Dunwall citizens. You are reminded that assaulting a member of the City Watch has been made a capital offense, and guardsmen are authorized to carry out this sentence on the spot. The offender's possessions are legally forfeit. Well, that's a bit harsh, but, uh, well, okay then. Let's down this way. See, sometimes when you're going through this game, this area unlocks new places, and I just want to make sure that there's nothing through here that I'm not missing out on. See, because I know at one point there's going to be like I can get down into the cellars and stuff. Do you mean to tell me you don't know how to curtsy properly? Please, sir. I was never in service with a noble. That's not an excuse. You need to learn proper decorum. The Helm Pits has seen a few lords and ladies in its day. If they were here, I expect they didn't want to be recognized, sir. Never mind that. Lord Pendleton ought to be shown the respect he deserves. He doesn't require it, but he wants Okay, I'm not, I'm not detecting any runes. It felt like I was hearing something. But she's just a child, and she's not even here. No one knows where she is. Well, our masters are just the people to find her, I'll have you know. Please learn your manners before then. Jeez, that guy's a dick. God. Man, if I if I was the emperor, I just I, I wouldn't care. I mean the only point of having everyone bow down to you is like an emperor is because otherwise you're afraid that they're gonna try to assassinate you. So I mean if you're not afraid, I mean there's there's no real point to having everybody like have to like crap themselves to make sure that you're not creeped out or anything. Oh, I can't believe I missed that earlier. Anything else I'm missing up? Ooh, Piero's workshop key. What that unlocks, I might never know. My, there is something to you, isn't there? You. W Can I be of service to you? Yes. I have gear and upgrades. Okay. Mask optics too. Now we don't need any of that. But what we are gonna need. Yes, we're gonna need that. Gonna need to hold more bullets. More bolts. Uh um. I don't really use the spring traps. They actually take more effort to put in than actually necessary. Um, let's, uh, I'll upgrade that sleeping dart. I like that. I don't, I don't really need it that much, but why not? Now I can hold more. Thank you, sir. Let me, let me test out this magnification feature. Oh my god, I could just zoom in to see everything now. Okay. 
Let's see. Anything else in here? Sorry for taking so long. It's just this this game likes to unlock new little areas as time goes by. So you gotta make sure you check this place. And I don't want you guys to miss out on anything. Ooh. I mean, I'm aware this is a time consuming process. But I remember distinctly at some point you can go into the sewers and uh, there's some guys to kill. Oh god, leave me alone! Let me alone! Stupid fish. Can I go in there? No. Where where does it where is it? And what does it open? Hound's pit. Is it this one here maybe? I no, that's not open. Here? That doesn't open. Where on earth could this be? in our streets are for your protection. However, they will respond to any touch or approach with lethal force. Furthermore, it is a Jeez. to throw Man. any object or animal <laughs> into a wall of light, whether for amusement or criminal intent. Well then, so if we just push someone into that wall of light, it'll just eviscerate them instantly. Thanks, thanks for letting us know, City Watch. You've uh, you just created your worst enemy. Oh god. I still want to fill this room with Adam Emily. I gotta buy her like dolls and all kinds of stuff. We'll get her into Prada. Oop. Oh. Oh, no. Dang it, that's like super sensitive. Get, get out of the way. Stupid cords on my desk. I bumped into the, uh, the left mouse button and it just... It just automatically teleports me. That was uh, that was quite a prompt earlier. I uh, you might have noticed that my voice does not sound quite the same. At least I don't think it sounds quite the same. I uh, I had to change some of the settings on the blue snowball because I didn't I didn't think it sounded good enough. I I wanted I wanted to like tweak it a bit. I think it sounds better now. How do I what do I do now? Oh, I gotta go to Corvo's bed. I was like, where the hell do I go? Oh. What's in here? No, oh, wrong way. Oh, wait. Are you? Citizens displaced by quarantine no, measures are reminded that the Dunwall Navy play, has bumps, food, and salary. Where and is... ...legal amnesty available for qualified applicants. Report to a Where is... That one guy I just saved. Oh. Other than the random rattling of chains, I don't I don't see anybody in particular. Corvo up here in his secluded um uh, home. Away from home. What are you doing up here? Sometimes I think this conspiracy feels like the start of a joke, don't you? An admiral, an aristocrat, and an overseer walk into a bar. <laughs> I wonder what the punchline will be. Uh, you send the bodyguard as the assassin. That's the punchline, man. Why would the bodyguard be the assassin? Come on. Who expects that? Okay, I'm retiring to my bedroom. I mean, who, who wants to be protected by an assassin anyway? That's, that's dangerous. I mean, their job's to protect you, not... Or, the assassin's job is to kill people, not to protect people. And the bodyguard's job is to protect people, not to kill people. It's two separate jobs. And they just want to combine them both. What, what is this? A uh, journal of granny rags. Um. Okay, well, granny rags is still granny rags. Just as creep. You know what? Screw it, we're on the long way. I'm going to jump. Whoa. Whoa. I know the golden cat. Not as a patron one. Um, sure. Kept the blueprints. Yeah. Admiral Havelock, what do you have to show me? Oh, here it is. Hello, Corvo. I expect Martin will be joining us shortly. I hate to start your day with such a strange matter, but the servants heard something last night, moving through the storm drains beneath the building. Most likely a weeper, the poor bastard. There's no hope for them once the plague gets that far along. 
Nothing more than a shuffling corpse full of sickness and insects, if you ask me. I'd appreciate you investigating, just to be sure it's not a nosy guardsman that's getting too close. Here's a key to the hatches. I'd send a servant down there, but they'd die of fear on the spot, I'm afraid. Maybe Piero can concoct some sort of sleep poison for your crossbow if you want to go that route. Actually, you know what? I will. Okay, let's see. Now, someone is in here that's just creeping around. Hello? Uh, hello? Hello? Any anybody down here? Oh. Oh. And at Okay, that's two down. Okay. I'm leaving the weepers where they are. Let's grab these runes. Ancient note. I'm sorry, but I won't be here for the next meeting, or ever again for that matter. What happened here was the natural makes me sick to recall. I'll have the result of our labors here for you to keep, but I expect that the rats will consume it before you return. Goodbye. Okay then. Two runes added to the collection. Anything else? Okay, let's get out of here because weepers. Ugh. Oh, now I'm not saying they deserve to die, but weepers are weepers are icky. Before I leave, though, let me just check. No money left behind. Waste not, want not. You know what I mean? I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna waste anything and then find out later on that I wasted something. Okay. Close that door. Leave it closed. You went down there in the sewers? I thought I heard a weeper in there earlier. You're probably the bravest man I've ever met. Overseer Martin has arrived. He's with Admiral Havelock now. They wanna talk to you. Okay, lady. Let me let me just uh, check out my new bones I picked up. Oh. Ooh, I have three runes. Hmm. Um. Which one? Let's do vitality. Yeah. Bone charms. Um. Potions. Okay. So, those aren't really useful to me. Let's go in here. Hey there, Mr. Hung Up to Dry. Corvo, I trust you remember Martin, an overseer before and perhaps again someday soon. I owe you thanks for my rescue. Indeed, you've given us a glimmer of hope, Corvo. Because we've gotten what we've wanted from Campbell's journal. You've done it. We know where Emily Caldwin is being held. The Golden Cat, of all places. A bathhouse for aristocrats. Little better than a cursed brothel. But there's an unfortunate twist. It appears that Pendleton's own kinsmen stand in our way. The twins, Morgan and Custis. Not only are they controlling Emily, but they have the controlling parliamentary votes we so desperately need. Yes, the Pendletons have to die. But most importantly, Emily must be brought here safely so we can protect her until the Lord Regent and his entourage have been dealt with. Pendleton's waiting for you on the dock. He's asked to brief you personally. I think it's best. 
Well, yeah, I'm probably gonna have to go kill his siblings. Nah, I'll, uh, if they, if they kill themselves, that's up to them. Corvo, a moment if I may. Corvo, I've asked to speak to you myself. You see, I'm sending you to kill my older brothers, Morgan and Custis. They're horrible men. It's true, as you may have heard, cruel beyond words. Further, my brothers are close allies to the Lord Regent, and as long as they are in Parliament, we cannot gather the votes we'll need to stop the Lord Regent from further consolidating his power. These days, they're best known for exploiting their favor with him to cheat others out of their wealth. Let's just say that not every family evicted in quarantine for having the plague actually has the plague. I warned my brothers in every way I could. I really did. But they never did listen to me. They'll be at the Golden Cat tonight at their usual revels. They'll be protected by the City Watch, so it'll be dangerous. Now go. Please do it before I change my mind. Well, it, it's up to how your brothers behave whether or not they die. If they decide to do something bad, well, whatever comes back to hit them in the face is up to them. Just like, uh, Campbell. He's the one who set out the poison. I just switched the bottles. Hey, Samuel. I'll take you to the Golden Cat when you're ready. I've taken Lord Pendleton enough times, believe me. Uh... Not, not, not quite yet. Not quite yet. Whenever you're ready, I'll be waiting. This will be the end of this episode. Thank you for coming along in the adventure. Uh, leave a like or a comment if all you like well, the video. Master Corvo. Uh, yeah, all's well. I'm, I'm telling her babe goodbye. So, goodbye. Um, uh, I. Better than the Cold Ridge Prison, ain't it? Yeah, kind of is. Leave me alone. Um. So. Thank you for coming along this adventure, and I hope to see you on my next adventure. Bye-bye!